I'm gonna do a little, quick little video on a couple of operating tips. Doesn't really matter what size of excavator you have. One of the biggest things you can do to increase the life of your turntable, that's the motor and the gears that make the excavator swivel, you know, turn. Come out of your hole keep that bucket close to you try to minimize the jerkiness nice smooth take your time so when you st first start excavating just take your time when you keep that bucket close to you it takes less uh, torque less power to swing just look at it this way. If you hold your arm out and you're holding something heavy and you go to turn, there's more torque, there's no more potential for whiplash, uh, there's more inertia, you're trying to slow down more momentum. That took me a long time to be able to be smooth. I'm still not the smoothest, but I'm always learning. So I have my bucket all the way out. See that jostleness? If I stop too fast, there's a lot of wiggle in my bucket. So when you're, take your time starting, and when you know you're about to where you're gonna dump the dirt, start slowing down. You can slow down, because that's less uh, jerkiness and it's a lot easier on the gears in your turntable. So. Now when you're digging, if you're trying to hit on the edge like this, if that bucket's on your edge, when you start to dig, it's gonna wanna push your bucket that way. Now the, the instinctual thing is to try to turn this way while you're digging but what that's doing that's putting your your arm and your boom it's putting a lot of twist so, so all these bearings and all this metal it's twisting when you're trying to pull because ideally you want to keep everything in line when you're pulling you want you want equal pressure on the left and and right side of your bucket. So when you're pulling, it's not twisting your bucket or your arm or the boom or anything. So what I like to do, if you got a big trench, I like to do a straight line. Okay. Come out nice and smooth. my trench is right over here so I'll actually start slowing down and over time you'll get faster now like here that's a really full bucket if I had this bucket all the way out, now for one, the more you extended you are, you see how the bucket wants to open, that means I gotta curl it, and I'm losing dirt. So if you keep that bucket in, again, it keeps everything vertical. And you start turning, See your pile, you can slowly extend out. Those are some of the basics on operating. Now you see I've got my trench cut in. So that means all this will be a lot easier to dig out.
start cutting in this side. And when you swing back, you'll have an empty bucket. So it's not as much weight, not as much mass. Now another thing I'll do is keep in mind you start digging and it wants to start pushing this that way just go ahead and let the let the machine drift over I don't know if you can see that but so you can see some of the twist you see that twist and if you have twist in that arm you're trying to pull it in it's just harder on the machine as you get better and better at operating you'll be able to uh, anticipate the, uh, the angle of your teeth in the dirt in the rock you know, these are pretty full buckets another good uh, another person who's really good at operating I'm, I'm probably not nearly as good as he is uh, Let's dig 18. I think he's really good at operating, real smooth. Watch a lot of his videos. Sometimes if your bucket gets a little full, like it won't release, you can give it a pop. It's kind of loud. You'll see me doing that a lot. Pop, it'll knock out some of this Oklahoma clay. It'll fill that whole backside of that bucket. It'll just stick in there. It drives me nuts. So here's another good example. So the angle of this, the trench will get more and more narrow, especially if you're digging in rock. And if you're trying to widen it, start digging see how the bucket wants to drift so I just I'll slowly turn with the turntable see it wants to drift so I'll let it drift Remember, you don't want to put it in a bind. And then one of the ways to straighten out your hole some very fundamental operating basics I mean and if you've got any techniques that you like or stuff that you've learned leave a comment but other than that that's a I guess you call that excavator 101 just take your time as you get better you can go faster 
the less jerky you are, the machine, uh, it, it'll last longer. You'll be doing less maintenance because as powerful as these things are, it can be deceiving. They will break just like any, any other machine. Bearings, bearings are very important to protect. So, and you gotta think about the angle of your bucket. Just cause you have teeth on there, doesn't mean you're gonna rip through everything. You can snap teeth off, so. I guess that's enough for now. Maybe I'll start a little uh, operating 101 for anybody who's curious. Just remember, when you got a nice full bucket, keep it in close to you. So when you start turning, it's easier to start. And if something happens, you have to stop suddenly. There's a lot less mass. Uh, the, the mass that you have is closer to you. Because if it's way far away, by the time you've... You know, there's a lot of momentum if you're trying to stop. So... All right, let's get back to work. Thanks for watching.